Good morning. Hope everybody had a good week. Uh, you know, this week was, uh, yesterday was Leon Russell's birthday. And, uh, you know, that's a big thing here in Tulsa, especially with the church. And uh, also we lost uh, a Tulsa icon this week, uh, Jimmy Carstein. I saw him many times with the Red Dirt Rangers. So he's uh, up in that gig in the sky right now. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody this week. Uh, we have a pretty good uh, service lined up for you. And we're going to start off with Rebecca, and then uh, we'll move from that. Hello, and happy Sunday morning. Uh, my name is Rebecca. Uh, I'm here to share with you some reflections. Uh, I am going to read some words from the three, 365 Tao Daily Meditations by Ding Ming Dao, and uh, some phrases from Psalm 92, 1 through 6, and 10. So let us begin our reflections on gratitude and happiness and how it flows. When you drink water, remember its source. If your spiritual understanding is sound, then you will constantly be aware of the subtleties of life. Every ordinary moment could be a celebration of your personal understanding. Your smallest act could be permeated with reverence. When you drink water, remember the source. As we remember, we practice daily, and our spiritual success is gained by daily cultivation. In practice, we can learn to thrive. Self-cultivation is the heart of spiritual attainment. Whatever system you practice, do it every day. If it is prayer, then pray every day. If it is meditation, then meditate every day. If it is exercise, then exercise every day. If it is music then play every day. It is good just to practice, but it also gives you faith and a certain hope because we know we gain from it. Invocation and repetition. Invocation becomes declaration. Worship becomes recognition. When blessings mature, one glimpses the source. Glimpsing the source leaves no doubts. Remember when you drink water. Remember the source. Love and song has been translated through humans throughout many, many generations, centuries. So from Psalm 92, it is good to give thanks to sing your glorious praises, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness at night with stringed instruments and harps resounding. For your love has made me glad and thankful for your grace. I will sing for joy at the works of your loving hands. How great are your works. How profound is your love. It has exalted my horn and I have become anointed with the fresh blessings of your oil. Sing in praise. Thank you for the miracle of life. Help us all so we may come to see. All love is connected like the roots and the branches of a tree. I hope you have a beautiful day today, and if you are willing to receive, I would like to uh, offer these blessings in prayer. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you find peace, and peace be with you. May you be loved, and may you be loved, today and always. Amen. Next, we have Jordan to sing for you beautiful songs.
Thanks, Rebecca. That was, that was awesome. That was great. Really good. That made me feel really good. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So, this morning we're going to do a couple songs. If you feel like pulling up the lyrics in your phone, you can. We're going to do the, the old Bob Marley hymn, um, Three Little Birds, just to start off. We got a, we got a Marley in the house. We do. Uh -oh. I was going to say, Mar Mar, we're looking at you for these lyrics, babe. teach up at a school and some of the fourth and fifth graders are playing this song and I was like, oh, that'd be perfect at church. <laughs> so, um, you know, just that message of community and um, leaning on each other when we need. I think that's just, oh, it's everything. Yeah, it's such a good, good message. So, all right. And see. Thank you. 
Well, all right, man, that was great. Really got me uh, feeling good. Uh, what I want to bring up today is uh, how life can be hard, and everybody has a different story. And uh, I'm going to read a little passage from Galatians 6, chapter 6, verse 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap harvest if we do not give up. So what we need to do is just have perseverance. It means working hard and finishing what you have started, despite the barriers and obstacles that arise. The pleasure from completing tasks and projects is the best feeling. <coughs> It is hard to complete, so we must look at our uh, spiritual guidance so we will not give up, so we can get back on track. And uh, we as a community, we need to realize how everybody's story is different and everybody's struggles are different, and everybody copes, you know, different ways, and they, they have a different process to get things done. So uh, what I would like to ask as, as a community is just make sure, you know, I always say be, you know, have empathy for everyone because everybody is different. You know, try to 
look at their perspective and really help them because it'll help you in the long run also. So all I have to say is uh, in our time of darkness and in our time of need, Lord, please grant us vision. Lord, please grant us speed. So with those words right there, I'd like to bring up a good friend of mine. You know, he's a, always, always happy to see him. And, you know, he's my little bubba. So uh, we're going to bring up Josh again. Uh, it's funny Russ says that the other night we were hanging out and Russ said, you know, you're about the only dude that I will allow let me call me Bubba. You know, usually it's one of those things like, hey, Bubba, and it's like I'm immediately on somebody about it. And he's like, you're about the only one, man, so... I love you, Bubba. <laughs> uh, man, happy Sunday, y'all. It is so good to be here. It is so good to see everybody's faces. Um, I just I wanted to say a little bit about my spiel and a little bit about my life and be vulnerable for you guys and you know share a little message of love and perseverance and all that. And uh, I'm going to play a couple songs that I wrote and I'm going to have Jordy come up and you know join me. Um, so yeah, perseverance, that's kind of the, it's kind of my word I've been thinking about a lot lately. And, you know, we've gone through, it seems like a lot of loss lately. There's been a lot of grieving. There's been a lot of, I mean, between everything that's going on across the world and everything that's going on in our backyard, it's, there's just a lot of heavy stuff going on right now. And... I get the question a lot of like, man, you're pretty positive. How do you stay so positive? You know, every time I see you, you're like, and it's something that I think I got from my mama, um, which is another thing I'm going to get into here in a sec, but um, losing someone like that is heavy. You know, it's heavy. And whenever you go through that, it feels like there's some kind of disconnect between who you are and who you were, right? There's this weird little gap that you live in where you try to figure out every day, like, am I the person that I thought I was? Am I new now? Am I the person I always reach out to, you know, for support, all that is gone, how do I, you know, so you end up trying to persevere to a place of contentment, right? And for me, waking up every morning, wiggling these bad boys, and just knowing I can do that is so huge. It's huge. I mean, there's a lot of folks in the world who can't do that. And then seeing the sunshine, seeing the little things, you know, not taking stuff for granted, seeing these two little beautiful faces every day, you know, those are the things that have really started to help me gain my feet back, right? And stand in a place to where I feel like if, if it helps me, maybe I can help other people too, right? And so that's, that's been such a huge, 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 huge thing for me. Persevering through moments of uncertainty, doubt, and finding those little things that just keep me pushing on, keep me going, persevering to a point of contentment. Right. And, you know, last week we were all here a week ago to celebrate the life of someone that we lost. And it was such a heavy day of loss and sadness. And but I can't tell you how much love I saw. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the last time I felt that amount of love in one place from everyone I saw. I mean, hugs were longer, hugs were tighter, you know, and it's those small reminders of when you lose people like that, that really do just put you in a place of like, man, we don't know. We just don't know. So I get to see you guys. I get to see all these faces right now, and it's just another 
you know, thing that pushes me on of like, yes, we all have to do this together and there's only this, right? We, I don't know where we're going from here. We all might leave, something might happen. But we all have this right now, right? We all get to share this space together right now. And I don't know about you guys, but there's a certain amount of content that I get from that. Amen. You know what I mean? So that being said, I'm going to play a song for y'all. All right, this is a tune I uh, this is a tune I wrote about time, and you know when it comes to persevering and being happy, time is time's like the ultimate. It'll get you, it'll save you, or it'll break you. You know. See the future in your face, and those eyes are bright like diamonds, and that smile's a big blue sky. But I never see you clearly, cause you always passing by. And I, I know you, and that's why something for me I wrote that song thinking about how beautiful it is right so in my mind I was just picturing time as this hourglass shaped beautiful figure and the more I started thinking about it and when I really started writing I was like man this is such a double-edged sword right now because this beautiful hourglass figure will also be the thing that hurts sometimes Really and truly, I mean, time heals, time hurts. You know, that's that's part of the, the the nature of it, and it's important that we process, and it's important that we go through all the things that we go through. And time is really one of the only things that can do it for us. You know, having to live in yourself, in your thoughts, in everything that you're going through, is 
beautiful, hurtful, you know, it's everything, but you have to do it. There's no shortcuts. There's no, you can't cut to, there's no smash cut to the ending where you just get all the beautiful stuff and you don't have to endure the pain and the loss and the hurt and, you know, but again, for me, persevering through it, feeling that stuff, getting to a place of contentment makes it all the more worth it, right? There's no here if you've never been here. You know, you don't know the light if you've never been in the darkness. And, I mean, like I said, that's, that's everything. You know, and you have to do it. And if something that I can do as somebody that's gone through loss, I lost my mom three years ago, you know, um, someone that's going, you know, gone through divorce, someone that's raising two beautiful little baby girls. You know, it's, there's nothing easy about any of this. Waking up and just being a human being is tough. It's tough. I mean, there's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. It's hard. But there is a small, a small part of at least me that chooses to go for contentment every morning. Every morning when I wake up, these wiggling toes, that's going to be the next song, wiggling toes. You know, there's something about that that just, you know, if you can start from somewhere and build, that's, that's a great place to be. It really is. Thank you, toes. Thank you, toes. Jordan, you want to play one with me, brother? All right, this is a song I wrote about. Um, this is what happens when you don't do all of those things that we just got done talking about. And everybody knows those people who, uh, I guess they just choose to live life on their own regards, you know? And I'm, I'm not a judgmental person, but you know, I think there's better ways to do it than others. And this is a cathartic song I wrote about somebody that just chooses to not do any of those things. Lock the doors and threw away the key. And when I call the phone, she won't answer me. Cause she gets mad, and that's alright. She usually comes down by the end of the night. And I say, honey, what did I do? And she says, oh, it's just you. Good for nothing, you. Honey, what did I do? She says, oh, it's just you being good for nothing, you. Well, I don't like to cook, and I don't like to clean. Doing anything at all just makes me mean. For ten long years, it's been the same. I sit around all day and I drink and watch the game. And I say, honey, what did I do? She says, oh, it's just you being good for nothing. Do. Oh, it's just you Don't want me around. And 
listen up, folks, there's a lesson here. Just listen to your baby and don't drink too much beer. And I say, honey, what did I do? She says, oh, just you and good for nothing, you. Now she's got a new man, and he's a real jerk. Cause I guess he's got some job and he goes to work. Now I got some money and some friends at the bar. Cause I got a big check when I jumped in front of his car. And I say, honey, what did I do? She says, oh, just you being good for nothing, you. Yeah, I say, honey, what did I do? She says, oh, just you being good for nothing, you. She says, oh, it's just you. Good for nothing, you. Sing, lift, lift voices and make some joyful noise. I, so I thought of one other one earlier today. Um, unless you got one, do you have one? What's yours? I was gonna Could say, have. what a wonderful world. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. You guys want to do? Yeah. What That's a good. wonderful world. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, also, uh, so I, I forgot to bring this up earlier, but you know, obviously we're we are. Figuring things out. This is like we're right at the beginning of something, but you know, you guys all being here, this is this is what it's about. We're like building this community, you know, bit by bit. Um, so as you know, I mean, Rebecca showed up a couple weeks ago, and you know, and today she had a great message, you know, and and so I think you know, we're gonna be kind of, you know, if if there's something that you want to do to be a part of this, you know, a part of the service in the future, you know, if you have. A song you'd like to do, a message you'd like to share, a reading, um, if you'd like to do an opening or closing prayer, you know, let us know and we'll kind of try and figure out how we can piece that in in the future. Um, and then also, you know, for me, I'm going to be trying to do kind of like the congregation sing-along stuff at the beginning. Um, so if you have any hymns or favorite songs that you think would be great sing-alongs, um, please let me know and I would love to like take suggestions and learn them, you know, for the future so we can, so anyway, uh, just keep that in mind. If you have any great ideas, please let us know. Let Peter, Russell, you know, Patrick, me, whoever know, you know, we'll try and figure it out. Um, so you know, that being said, you don't call it a community church for nothing. Exactly. No, <laughs> it's literally all community. Yeah. Um, all right. So if, if you, uh, if you know the words, Cool. If not, you know, feel free to turn in your little electronic internet hymnal. Um, right. Turn it to page Google. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What a wonderful world.
someone that you don't know. I think Russell's got a, yeah. a little last message. Um, and we have we have a whole month of great music ahead. We've got my friend Jess Lene coming in uh, next week. And then uh, for Easter service, we've got a couple musical guests, Pete Tom Shawnee and Danny Wesley. And then uh, the last Sunday of this month is going to be really cool. My friend Jeff Porter is doing a message on what he calls the Holy Trinity of dancing, drumming, and singing. So that's going to be like you know, just a very um, group-oriented, you know, everybody get involved and make music together kind of experience, so. Cool. All right, thanks again, Josh. That was very nice. Uh, only thing I want to leave with is uh, contentment, and that is a word to really think about. And uh, that's what it all leads to. And uh, just because you're content doesn't mean that you're not going to fall back into bad ways or things or you'll struggle with something. But that's what we're all going for, forward to. So uh, love everybody. I'm going to leave a prayer. I'm going to leave with a prayer, and I hope everybody gets home safe. Holy Spirit, we're so happy you got us here today, and we uh, just want to say that uh, guide us through the week, through all our struggles, and to everybody in the world that's struggling right now, we are really thinking about you, because we know you're thinking about us also. I just want to leave with a strong feeling of how much this community really cares and how much we care for the community. Amen. <laughs>